Hi everybody! In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Perl 6's native call module to create bindings to a C++ library. I'm working on a little side project that requires some text analysis. Not your garden variety text analysis that you can use regexes or grammars for, but rather analysis of human language. For this, I like to use the Zappian library. If Elasticsearch is MySQL or PostgreSQL, Zappian is SQLite. It's serverless, easy to use, and works well for small to medium datasets. You can also use the text analysis algorithm it comes with without having to use the database portion. Since Zappian is a native library, we need to create a binding for it. If this were Perl 5, we would have to write XS. Fortunately, Perl 6 ships with a fantastic module called Native Call that allows us to write bindings for native libraries without ever having to touch C. Let's create a little test file that uses the Zappian bindings before we start working on them. I'll be using the Zappian stem class, which implements stemming algorithms. If you're not familiar with stemming algorithms, they are a text algorithm for reducing a word to its root. So, for example, coincidence, coincide, and coinciding should all stem to the same root. So when we, when we run this code, each word will be printed after its stem. Now let's write the module that will implement this. First, I'll start with a useV6 that tells tooling that this is a Perl 6 and not a Perl 5 module. Then, I'll import the native call module. I'll wrap my Zappian <coughs> binding classes in a module for organization. And then I'm going to create our stem class. The isRepr pointer, isRepr C pointer portion is a trait that tells Perl 6 how to represent objects of the stem class in memory. C pointer just says that they're actual pointers. Normally, you don't need to worry about this, but this is necessary when writing classes that wrap native classes or structs. Next, I'll go ahead and stub out the interface that I'll be presenting to users of this module. Destroy is a special method that is called when an object is being destroyed. And call me is a special method that is called when an object is called as a function. Now comes the portion where we actually bind to native code. Zappian is written in C++, which complicates things a bit. There's experimental support for C++ in native call and Rakuto, but Zappian uses some STL types that use templates, which native call can't really support. So I know I said we wouldn't have to touch C, but we're going to have to create a few wrapper functions that native call can use. So let's open up a C++ file to contain these functions. First, we'll include a few headers. Zappian, to bring in its, its definitions. String, to bring in the STL string type. And C string, which brings in some standard C library string manipulation functions we'll be using later on. We'll wrap the whole thing in an extra C block. This tells the compiler not to perform any name angling in our functions. This will allow us to use the library from Perl 6 without the experimental C++ support, which does accommodate from name angling. First, we'll wrap the constructor. Here, we just wrap the C string that Perl 6 gave us in an STL string. Next, we'll wrap the destructor. Which just cleans up the memory. Or, not this itself. <laughs> and finally, we'll wrap the, the function call operator overload, which is how we use a stemmer to stem a word.
Since Perl 6 is passing us an actual pointer to the stem object, we have to dereference it here to be able to call it as a function. Again, we have to wrap the word that Perl 6 gave us in a standard string constructor. And since the stemming operation returns a standard string, we should store it in a temporary variable. Now we're going to take the C string from the result and we're going to duplicate it using stirdup. Native call will actually free any strings that it gets from native functions because it assumes they've been allocated on the heap. You can override this behavior if you don't want it though. So let's go back to the Perl 6 file. Now is when we actually see native call in action. Let's create some private subs that bind to the native functions we just created. Native call uses the signature of subs to determine how to pass arguments to the native functions. If it's a stir, it creates a C string. If it's something with a pointer representation, like objects of our stem class, it just passes the pointer. Integers get passed as integers, etc., etc. The same works for the return type. So we have to tell native call that our constructor returns zappy and stem objects. We use the native trait to tell that native call comes with to tell native call that this is a native function. And the string we pass to the native trait is the name of the library we're going to be getting the functions from. The star in the block just tells Perl 6 that this is stub code. Now let's call our native functions from our Perl 6 methods. Let's test it out. First, let's compile our helper code as a shared object for us to load. I can't spell share today. Now we'll set the LD library path variable, which just tells Linux's dynamic linker where to find additional shared objects. If the library you're binding to is installed system wide, or if it's installed as a Perl 6 module, you don't need to do this. We just need to since we're actively working on it. We'll also set the Perl 6 lib variable to tell Perl 6 to look under the lib directory for modules. Let's review that test file we created earlier and run the code. Sure enough, the binding worked. I hope this video was useful to you and perhaps inspired you to create some useful native library bindings for Perl 6. Until next time.